What's up guys, it's I Love Milk, and today I have, uh, I suppose, a late Christmas gift from Eleanor Trevelyan. <clears throat> now, the reason it's already out in its contest is because I received, or I was notified that I was going to re be receiving two parcels, and uh, it's pretty much part, it's all one thing, so it's like, okay, might as well just put them all together. Plus, I, I took a little... A little peek. I cheated a little bit, and I, I peeked a little already, as you can see, and organized everything uh, because um, <clears throat> I guess like the the carriers were pretty like rough with it. Well, should have done that gesture. Well, there the the mail carriers were pretty rough with it, and as you can see, uh, Pikachu over here, Parcel Pikachu over here, had organized everything, and I helped out. Yay! <laughs> so let me. There you go. So. Oh, and I forgot, actually, this comes with a note inside that I forgot to put out, but it's all right. So, <clears throat> oh, oh, I thought the mail was going to fall inside. Anyway, it says, unfocused, it says, to Isle of Milk, I hope you enjoy this Christmas gift, plus, uh, from, uh, yeah. And it says, I hope you had a great Christmas and a happy new year from Eleanor Trevelyan. And it says, my favorite Pokemon are Mew and Kyogre and Trico too. So that's a hint as to what I'm going to make for for you, Trevelyan. <clears throat> but uh, what she sent in as a Christmas gift, which is totally, totally awesome. And of course it's late, but it's, it's, it's fine. It's totally fine. Of course, everything... From the UK it does take a while to get here, at least for me, because for some reason my mail post office people, I don't know, they're so weird. They they take their time and sometimes they're rough, sometimes they're not. So anyway, as you can see, obviously there's this is a little gift, I haven't even opened this, but as you can see right away, here are some code cards that she had sent in again, very out of focus. Let me focus in for you. Well well there, you could you could see. Uh, lots of code cards, <laughs> and as you can see, uh, I mean, I, I love code cards, you know what I mean? Uh, I haven't counted them yet, but I want to say that's about, maybe, I, I don't know, like 30, maybe 40? Uh, I, I really don't know. Um, but pretty awesome, and as you can see here, a whole stack of just cards that uh, I'm going to be getting to and kind of organized as well. It's so special, I'm going to leave that one for last. Um, so let's start off here first with, I suppose, the, the, whatchamacallit, the card, the signature card. It says Wolves and Pokemon 1, that's another, uh, YouTube channel she has. It says Neubat EX HP 1, 100,000, and not Gust, it's Eating Fruit and, oh, because it's a Fruit Bat. Oh, Mega Wing Attack, it's 1, what is that? Again, a lot. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Gonna be adding that. To, hold that for me, Pikachu. Gonna be adding that to my signature collection. And let's get along with uh, some of these cards. Some of these cards have cards in the back as well. So <clears throat> let's get into it. And here we have a Snorrent. And on the back, a Spinda from Mysterious Treasures or Secret Wonders. Uh, I don't know. Nidoran, female. From Jungle, of course. And on the back, Poochiana from Emerald, right? No, it's not Emerald, JK. That's a uh, Ruby and Sapphire. EX Ruby and Sapphire, I believe. I could be wrong. Milk has been wrong before. Numel. I can't remember this one. It's from 2006. Mm, I can't remember the set. Uh, and, ooh, uh, R Energy. Which is from, obviously, Team Rocket Returns. That's pretty cool artwork. I like the, the big R in the middle. It's pretty nice. Who's the artist? Uh, Takumi Akobon? Akobon? You know what? I don't even know. I can't even, can't even pronounce it. It's not focusing. Klefki, uh from Furious Fist, of course. And Durant from Dragons... Uh, Dragons yeah, Dragons Exalted. Uh, Magmar. I have not seen this card in so long that when I saw it, I was like, whoa, this is weird. Is this even real? Uh, it's by the lovely, none other than the lovely Ken Sugimori. Pretty nice, pretty nice. I like the artwork. Uh, Executor, Delta Species, fighting type. So I don't know what set that is. Gosh, 
uh, routes from what I'm hoping is EX Alpha, I mean, what, EX Ruby and Sapphire, or EX Sapphire Ruby, whatever. You know, lovely artwork. I really like it. It's very watercolory. Very nice. And in the back, Haunter from Diamond and Pearl. Pretty cool, too. Uh, Caterpie base set. Torchic from Great Encounters, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. That looks really nice. I like that one. It's pretty, pretty cute. Uh, Carablast from Plasma Blast. <laughs> the Drio from X and Y base set. Graveler from Fossil. Pretty nice card. Pidgey. This one really looks cool. It looks very uh, Japanese, if that makes sense. Japanese esque, like a Japanese. Well, obviously, it looks very uh, traditional Japanese, I suppose. Pretty cool. Uh, Makuhita from EX Ruby Sapphire, I believe. Again, I don't know why he's doing what's doing in the middle of the desert, but ooh, Persian Delta Species. I've not seen this one before ever, so that's pretty cool. And it's from uh, Midori, I believe. Midori, uh, Midori Harado or Harada. You know, I'm not good with Japanese names as it is. Uh, this one has little extra more cards, as you can see. Lovely magic card that I've never seen before, which looks pretty awesome. Very good Kiko or Kaiko. Fukuyama, I think. Selfless Resurrection uh, likes that artist, which is pretty cool. Uh, and looks really awesome. Looks kind of pencil color, which I appreciate and I, I like that kind of style. Uh, Magnemite from none other than my awesome artist Tomokazu Komiya. Pretty, pretty sick. Lo I love this art. A lot of people don't like it. <clears throat> because it looks ugly, which is kind of the point. It's meant to look primitive. It's a primitive style, which meant to look like caveman drawings or like uh, kid drawings, which is it's cool. It's like it's original compared to other art styles that look really flashy and nice, which of course they do. They look nice, like this one, of course, you know, um, by that guy. <clears throat> but I, I appreciate that kind of style more. I don't know why it just stands out. Of course, it's it's bad looking. But um, it just stands out to me, and I really appreciate that. Uh, Relicanth by Five Band Graphics. I mean, come on. Uh, and Taros from Tomokazu Komiya again. You could really note his style, and that's that's what I like. It just completely stands out, and it's pretty awesome. You know, this one also has a pack of cards. It's Trap Inch from Ex Dragon Frontier. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, Giovanni's Need Arena from Gym Challenge. Giovanni. Um, Remoraid from Plasma Blast. Some ice blasting in the background. Doduo running for its life, or like the Roadrunner. There's probably a Wild E. Coyote running in them after it. Pretty cool. Beep beep. Uh, Froki from X and Y Base. Surskit Plasma Blast. Ooh. I, 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 I thought this didn't have more cards, but it does. Uh, Togepi. Clay art, which I totally love. I love clay art uh, cards. They're freaking awesome. By Yuka Mori. Mori. Uh, Spoopa. I haven't said that in a while. <laughs> Felt awkward saying it. Uh, Skip Loom from ooh, yeah, uh, Ro Team Rocket Returns. And it's Kyoku. I think someone likes that. I forgot who it was, but someone likes Kyoku. Pretty, pretty nice artwork. I like it too. Pat Rat. Everybody's favorite, of course, mascot of Pokemon. Uh, Venonat, this one looks this one looks pretty funny. That'd be weird if you were to see that in the forest, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Bergmite. Dark Dragonair from T uh, Team Rocket Returns. I'm not sure if it's EX Team Rocket Returns or not, but I just say Team Rocket Returns. It's pretty cool Dragonair. I like it. Uh, Ghastly. Oh, good old Ghastly behind some graffiti. I mean, in front of some graffiti. Diglett from X and Y Base Set. Oh, and that's it. Uh, ooh, <laughs> Mill Tank. Always appreciate Mill Tank. Of course, it increases my herd that I'm trying to have of more of. I suppose. I think there's nothing behind. Nope, there's nothing behind these. So these are all single. Uh, Floatzel Reverse, Gothita Reverse, Goldie in Reverse. Pretty classic. Barrowthorn Reverse, Audino uh, Radiant Collection, Golet Reverse, Cub Chew Reverse. Uh, Robo Substitute, pretty awesome. A lot of people use that. Trick Shovel, uh, practical. Haven't used it myself. 
Uh, Total Dial from Heart Cultural Server, pretty nice. I don't have that, too many of that. Slugma Reverse, I have one of these, so this is pretty cool to have like an, I, another one. Uh, Dark Vile Plume from Team Rocket, this is a rare, it's pretty nice. Uh, Gyarados Hollow Base, which is pretty awesome. I think it got a little warped in the mail though, so, but th that's totally fine, but it's not fine that my mail people or mail carriers do that. I don't know why they do that, they're so rough. Uh, Dark Tyranitar Hollow from Team Rocket Returns, or EX Team Rocket Returns, I'm not too sure. And the last card, but not, well, the le well, I guess not least, is Blastoise EX Promo, which I don't have. I don't have a Blastoise EX Promo, so that is pretty cool. Going to my Blastoise collection, pretty, pretty awesome. Love it, love it, love it. And, oh, I, I, I forgot this one, this top-loaded one, as... As it said in the note, her favorite Pokemon, one of her favorite Pokemons is Mew. And I thought this was really, really sweet of her to send because it's one of her favorite Pokemon. And I feel like it'd be hard to let go. But she sent, ooh, well, good thing it's a Tuffler. <laughs> she sent a Mew promo. This is pretty cool. I've never had this one. Art by Ken Sigamori, which is pretty cool. Love that art. Um, Always seen it, always wanted it, but never had it. And I've thought of, like, trying to look for someone to trade it instead of having to buy it but to have been received it as a gift is pretty awesome and really really sweet uh thank you eleanor so much for this and i i feel i feel bad because i know you like Mew, and uh but i i really appreciate it and it's definitely going to be taken care of don't worry about that um but la uh, the, the last thing right here is a little gift that i haven't opened yet which I guess I, I guess I'll just go into it. I don't want to damage anything, of course. But uh, oh, there it is. Alrighty. I, ooh. Oh wow. Oh wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. What the heck? It's a mill tank necklace. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is pretty awesome. <laughs> I had always seen these on either eBay or Etsy or I, I don't know where you got it. But I've always seen these and I always thought like, you know, it'd be cool to have like a Miltech necklace. But I'm like, eh, I'd, rather, I'd rather just, you know, not. Because uh, it's like, ah, eh, whatever, you know. It's like something I, I wish I could have but can't always buy, you know. But <laughs> Wow. This is pretty cool. Thank you so much, Eleanor. That is very, very, very awesome of you. Uh, you really didn't have to. This this is pretty cool, though. Um, but wow. Wow, wow, wow. I, I'm going to try to wear this later on. This is pretty cool. Uh, so thank you so much for everything, actually. <laughs> That's pretty, pretty nice. It's an awesome Christmas gift. Uh, sorry that it came in late. You know, post office and whatnot. My email carriers are pretty bad. Um, but yeah, thank, thank you so much, and I like, uh, you know, for you guys to go check her out and maybe see some of her wants and maybe she could trade with you and whatnot. And of course, I like to end this with a bang. Woo! Bye, guys!